hello my lovelies welcome back to the channel welcome back to simone's wedding vlog thank you for stopping by once again all my beautiful brides and all my beautiful subscribers guys i want to come to you every day and share with you what i find on the road to mrs hello my lovelies welcome back to the channel guys welcome back to simone's wedding vlog as you know guys i am on a um uh, venture i'm doing a vlog to share with all the beautiful brides that are coming up some great ideals that i find great finds great recipes great exercise tutorials um shopping diys you name it i'm going to share it with you because i have a wedding coming up as well so we can do this together guys if i have any new brides out there anybody that's getting married this year it may be even next year um, I just want to share everything with you that I find so maybe it can make it a little easier for you when you go out searching or maybe you, some things you haven't seen and you're like, oh, wow, that's really great. So maybe I can go get that for my wedding as well. So I'm going to show you what I got now. I went to Hobby Lobby. Hobby Lobby has been my go-to store, but like I said, there are certain times you have to go to Hobby Lobby. This week, <laughs> this week was the week um, where it was 40% off all wedding stuff. Now they have bye weeks I actually thought it was a flower week, so I just went strolling in there yesterday, you know, getting ready to buy more roses, and lo and behold, the 40% signs weren't up, and my face, my tongue, my whatever dropped to the floor, and I'm like, OMG. Okay, so I have to wait, um, finishing my centerpieces, because I refuse to pay the price that they have, so I'll be back up there on Monday to get the half price, or should I just say 40%, but while I was there, I said, let me go look in the wedding section and see what they have, and lo and behold, I've been seeing this sign for the longest, and I was like, well, I don't know if I really want that, I don't know, you know, because um, my daughter's making me something, you know, like a little balloon arch around it, and I was like, well, this would look nice, but she's making one with our names, but I said, you could use it maybe toward the outside part when the people, you know, walk up and we can put a little decoration around. So I just said, let me look at the price. Okay, well, I'm not really thinking about this, but let me see what the price is. I turned this around, guys. Okay, normally this is $16.99. They had a reduced sign on here, $4.24. Okay, you know your girl grabbed it. I said, okay, I was thinking the $16.99 with the 40% off. But I still, I still was thinking about it because I had another alternative. But when I seen 424, I think I snatched this thing up so quick. Um, I didn't even have a basket or anything either. I snatched it up so quick. I said, okay, I can work this, work with this somehow. And if you look at this, this is really, really big. I don't want to lift it up because my living room is just a hot mess. You know, what the heck? <laughs> Got a lot of wedding stuff going on back there. Okay, but as you can see, this is a big sign, guys. It says, welcome to our wedding. And what I'll probably end up doing is putting it on a, um, I don't know if you see those like easels that they have that you might put signs on, welcome to, or if you're having a party or something. I actually have one of those I use for my uh, birthday party that I had, but I'm going to put it on there and then we'll put some flowers or something around it or balloons. My daughter is a balloon um, artist, uh, artist uh, decorator. She does fantastic balloons. Her... Um, balloon company is called bubbly is it? bubbly balloon company that's what it is bubbly bubbly co balloon company or bubbly balloon company i'm gonna put it down in my description box below okay but she does balloons and she's actually already gonna do me this big beautiful arch um behind our our wedding table not behind the wedding table, about the bride and groom table in the wedding so i can maybe ask her to just put something around this um this could actually be outside when the guests walk in and we'll have another sign in the reception area so yeah but before 424 for let me say that again 424 you can't beat that i said i'll find something to do with it so if you i don't know are all hobby lobbies are like this but if you go to hobby lobby and see these i know the wedding stuff this is the week for the wedding stuff to be marked down i'm sure they have these i'm sure you can find this and i'm sure it's marked down to four what was that 499 or 424 or something like that um, let me turn it around again, guys. What does it say back here? Um, four twenty-four. Um, you can't beat that. If you can't use it, give it to somebody that can. Somebody's getting married out there. <laughs> okay, guys. All right, so we're gonna move right along to our boutonnieres. I was gonna make some boutonnieres at first, but then I seen these. These look so realistic. Look at that. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna embellish it to my color because my colors are champagne, white, and black. So what I'm going to do is I am going to um, just 
just embellishing it. I'll probably put a champagne ribbon on there and I'll probably wrap around here in champagne as well, but we'll, we'll get them looking really good. So these were $2.99. They had all colors and it was 40% off and I got four of those because we have two, um, we have two groomsmen. We have, um, let's see, two groomsmen. I'm sorry, we have three groomsmen and a um, flower, a flower, not a flower, a ring bearer. So we have four all together. Um, and that's, you know, plus my groom. All right, so I couldn't beat that. $2.99 with 40% off. Now, this red one, guys, I got, my daughter's going to the prom this year. This is not her senior prom, this is her junior prom. Um, so I said, you know what, her, they're wearing red and black. I think her date is his, he's a senior, she's a junior, but they're wearing red and black. And I said, well, this would be really nice to give to her date, a little cute boutonniere, it's red. And this one was 74, um, 74 cents, probably because, uh, red is really not the color now. We're more in the summer colors, but you know, for 74 cents, I said, he has his boutonniere, that's it. <laughs> That is going to be it. And then we'll fix it up just a little. All right, my lovies. Now, this was my really great find. I found these because I wanted to put these in the wedding somewhere. I don't know where. Maybe near our table or on the dance floor. But these are letters. And that is for my fiance's first name. And his name is Anthony. And then we have the Anne sign there. And then we have moi we have my initial as well so um these were really cheap too guys how much were these these were they were 10.99 and i believe it was was it 40 percent? it was 40 percent off so i got that for a little or nothing too so i got an a and a d we're gonna find something to do with those in the wedding and then i was thinking even after the wedding um, you know, once we get our house, I can find, put it in the den area, the family area. We'll find something to do with those because you can't beat that. You can always use your initials. All right. And my last find, guys, my beautiful brides for you to go check out. I just grabbed this. My daughter is doing the bridal shower, so I don't really, well, I gave her the theme that I want, but I said, well, this is sort of cute. It's a little game called Who Knows Her Best, and it's a bride-to-be pop quiz. So maybe she can hand these out at the bridal shower, really sort of letting her handle that. Um, she gets on me like, Mom, I got it, I got it. So I'm going to let her get it, but I just thought it was so cute. I said, well, you know, you never know. She might need some games. I just go ahead and grab it. It was only $2.99 with 40% off. You can't beat it. Um, you know, the young people don't go to the stores like we do all the time. They're always online. So I figured, hey, you never know. She might could use it. So, all right. So this is a great find I got today, guys, from Hobby Lobby. But this sign was really the greatest of all, 424. You can't beat it. Now, I can see it's staining up a little bit. Probably because I got some lotion on my hand. Um, but I'm sure we can wipe that off. But you cannot beat that. I, I had already really had a sign, but I think I'm going to put this since we're doing the ceremony outside and the reception inside. Maybe we can put some right, this one right at the ceremony when people are walking in outside. Um, we can put this one outside and then we can, the one my daughter's going to do, we can do inside um, at the reception door um, at the entry of the ballroom. So this is, I mean, I got a great find, guys. And I hope, brides, please, you know, sometimes you go to Hobby Lobby, you don't see exactly what you want. You have to go back, look again. So if you go one week, they don't have it, go, um, you know, just buy weeks. So next week are the flowers, guys. Make sure you go in, you get your roses, whatever you need. Um, for your centerpieces, if you're doing DIY centerpieces, the week after that is for wedding stuff. All right, my beautiful, beautiful, lovely, lovely brides. Thank you for once again for stopping by. I thank you with all my heart. Um, this journey, we're, I'm not just on this journey by myself. We're on this journey together. I love weddings. I love weddings long before I said I do. Um, and really, this was the season that I always used to do my wedding stuff. So I just decided to go ahead and then share what um, I have. All right, so these are my Hobby Lobby wedding finds. And guess what? Guess what? Guess what? I'm going to see you tomorrow for another wedding vlog, guys, on the road to Mrs. All right, my lovelies. I will see you soon. Bye.